She is known for being Queen of England from 1533 to 1536, and for her role in the political and religious upheaval of the English Reformation. She is recognized for her contributions to the field of music. Her name is in Bullen. In the annals of English history, there is one name that stands out, and Bullen, the legendary Queen of England from 1533 to 1536. Her story is filled with political and religious upheaval, making her a key figure in the English Reformation. Born to Thomas Bullen and Elizabeth Howard, and received an education in the Netherlands and France, serving as a maid of honor to Queen Claude of France. Returning to England in 1522, she became a maid of honor to Catherine of Aragon, the wife of King Henry VIII. Anne's life took a dramatic turn when she was secretly betrothed to Henry Percy, son of the Earl of Northumberland. However, the betrothal was broken off, and then found herself at Hever Castle. It was there that Henry VIII began to pursue her, but she resisted his advances, refusing to become his mistress. Henry's desire to annul his marriage to Catherine and Mary and led to a break with the Catholic Church and the establishment of the Church of England. In 1533, Henry and Anne married in a secret ceremony, and shortly after, she was declared Queen of England. Their daughter, Elizabeth, was born in 1533. However, Anne's reign as Queen was short-lived. Accused of high treason, including charges of adultery, incest, and plotting to kill the king, she was arrested and sent to the Tower of London. And was tried and convicted, and on May 19, 1536, she was beheaded. Despite the controversial charges against her, and Bullen's legacy as a martyr and heroine of the English Reformation remains, as she played a pivotal role in the establishment of the Church of England and the country's break from the Vatican. In the early years of Anne's life, her father's diplomatic career flourished under the reign of Henry VIII. His charm and charisma captivated many, including Margaret of Austria, daughter of Maximilian I, Holy Roman Emperor. Impressed by Anne's father, Margaret offered a unique opportunity to young Anne, a place in her household, despite the usual age requirement of 12 years old. Anne's favorable impression in the Netherlands was evident in Margaret's praise of her manners and studiousness. She called Anne, La Petite Boulin, highlighting her pleasantness and presentability at such a young age. Hashtag continue hashtag Anne's journey led her to France, where she became a maid of honor first to Queen Mary and then to Queen Claude. During her nearly seven years in the Queen's household, and immersed herself in the French culture and developed a wide range of interests. She devoted herself to the study of French language, art, fashion, illuminated manuscripts, literature, music, poetry, and religious philosophy. It was during this time that she encountered reformist books, translations of the Bible and the Pauline epistles by Jacques Lefebvre, and the works of influential figures such as Marguerite de Navarre. Hashtag continue hashtag Anne's exposure to the French court and its intellectual circles likely introduced her to King Francis I's sister, Marguerite de Navarre. Marguerite, a patron of humanists and reformers, may have played a role in shaping Anne's interest in religious reform, as well as her passion for poetry and literature. Marguerite's works, which blended Christian mysticism and reform, may have influenced Anne's evolving beliefs. Anne's education in France left a lasting impact, inspiring new trends and ideas among the ladies and courtiers of England and potentially influencing King Henry VIII's decisions, including England's eventual break with the papacy. Hashtag continue hashtag Anne's time in France was not solely focused on intellectual pursuits. She also honed her skills in dance, becoming known for her exceptional talent. William Forrest, a contemporary poet, praised Anne's dancing abilities as, passing excellent. Her presence on the dance floor showcased her youthful energy and grace, earning her admiration and acclaim. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.